Hey everyone, so this is going to be my first vlog style video. We'll see how this goes. Um, I'm at the H&H &H restaurant here in Macon, Georgia. If you're any kind of Almond Brothers fan, then you'll know that the Almond Brothers made Macon their sort of home base after they formed in Jacksonville and lived here together in a house called the Big House from about 1970 until I think around 1973, could be wrong about that, but they made this their home base. Um, their record label, Capricorn Records, is based out of Macon. And just in general, they really just kind of left their mark on this city. There are signs of the Allman Brothers everywhere. There's bridges named after original members. There's Dwayne Allman Memorial Boulevard. There's murals depicting them and a lot of sort of Almond Brothers landmarks from you know those early days are all in this town. It's also where the uh, original members who are no longer with us are all buried in Rose Hill Cemetery. And the reason why I'm here today is I have an absolutely incredible opportunity. The Big House Museum reached out to me a couple weeks ago and basically invited me to come up and play a couple of guitars that they have up there. The main one that I think they want me to play is Dwayne's first guitar, which is a 59 double cut Les Paul Jr. Cherry. I think the gold top might be there. We'll see when I get there. But um, yeah, basically they invited me to just come up there and shoot some video playing Dwayne's guitars, which is, I mean, if you know me, the original Almond Brothers band is my all-time favorite band. They have had an immeasurable influence on me, especially Dwayne Allman is my all-time favorite guitarist. So this is just the greatest honor I could possibly imagine. So yeah, I'm gonna try and take you guys along with me. We'll see how much they're gonna let me film. I'll ask you beforehand if I can film in there. So I'll get as much as I can and take you guys along for the ride. So yeah, here we go. Absolutely love that. We're actually, man. tomorrow um, we're having a new PA. We've got a custom built PA being made. Right. And this is a, a brand new kind of. Uh, I wanted to get a, uh, another Peter Peach that makes it large. That is awesome, man.
All right, so just got home from Macon, and like, wow, what do you what do you even say to that? Just so awesome. Um, what an incredible experience that was. Just once in a lifetime bucket list. Just so cool. Yeah, we just, you know, we went up to the big house and Richard, the director of the museum and Bain, who also works there, basically just showed us around, gave us a private tour. It wasn't my first time going there. It's probably my fourth or fifth time visiting the museum, but just going on a day when it's closed and having the place to ourselves and getting the, you know, inside knowledge from the director of the museum was just so cool. Um, my uh, my dad and two of my bandmates came along, so um, they got to you know experience it too. We just hung out and talked for a good two or three hours. Um, they just showed us all around the museum, and eventually we went upstairs and they had um, Dwayne's first guitar, which like I said was a '59 Les Paul Jr. double cut. Unfortunately, the gold top wasn't there as you saw, um, but honestly, it, it doesn't matter. It was it was so cool. Like I'm just so grateful to have had that experience. Yeah, I just got to play it for a while and spend some time with it. Um, you know, aside from it being Dwayne's guitar, it is a super lightweight and resonant guitar and the, the P90 that's in it is, is the original one and it just sounds so good. It has just the right amount of bark and growl, but cleans up beautifully like you heard. The neck feels amazing on it. And we did a little interview which uh, they filmed and uh, I'm not sure exactly when that'll go up, but I'll post about it whenever it does. Yeah, just, had an amazing time. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. It was just so cool. We just had a blast up there. Just absolute Almond Brothers nerd time. So much amazing memorabilia there and so much info. Um, if you're ever in the Macon area, absolutely go check out the Big House Museum. I'll put a link in the description to it, but it is just, it's incredible. It's such an amazing place. And thank you to my bandmate Jack for uh, filming while uh, I was playing the guitars. And yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm planning on posting a video here pretty soon on playing slide guitar and standard tuning. So keep a lookout for that. That'll be my next instruction video. And aside from that, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Oh, cool.